Hey guys, I'm Rachel. So today we are jumping into some spring looks. Whenever I'm wearing this color hair, I feel like wearing dark lips or bright eyes. So bright as it is today. And I'm also going to be reviewing one of my current favorite foundations. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. So, so the foundation I want to talk about today is a, this L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation. I do not know why it took me so long to try this foundation. This foundation is amazing. So for all of us out there who probably have oily skin or combination skin, whenever you hear the name Glow in a product, you probably want to stay far from it. And which sometimes is the case but with this product it's just amazing and i'm going to show you how i use this um, foundation i just did 10 tips of how to keep your makeup uh, lasting longer and for flawless finish and you can refer to that tutorial um if ever you want to use a foundation that has glow in it be sure to prime your skin and use really good setting powders and setting sprays and that should make everything stay in place so i'm going in with this um toucher silk canvas primer and i'm just applying this in areas where i have a large pores so i have a combination skin type where i'm oily in my t-zone and everywhere else is normal dry so i'm going to show you how it is i apply this foundation to make it last on my skin and give me the outcome that i want and like i said i will link the video that i did of tips to make your makeup last longer um that you can apply to using a foundation like this my face is primed and i'm going in with two foundations one is matte and one is glow now you could mix them both together it's really nice finish but i am going to use a different technique today i'm going to put the matte one to the center of my face and the glowy one on the outskirts of my face because that's where i'm more normal dry i'm just applying it straight from the tube i can get it out Do not try this at home and i'm going to apply the glow one to the sides of my face like so now i'm going to blend the center of my face first where it's matte and if you look at i did a, um, a video of my top five favorite drugs of foundation and the l'oreal pro matte one is in that I will link that video also so you can look at it. So that's so now I blended the center of my face so it would stay matte. And now I'm going to remove these earrings. I'm going to blend the sides. And this uh, foundation is like medium to full coverage. It's buildable. You can def definitely build it up. It gives a really nice coverage you see and it is not greasy it just it just gives you a really nice glow to your skin it's it's amazing that's all i can say about it so when i blend the outside of my the outskirts of my face i'm just bringing the excess inward a little over the matte one so that there's just no lines of demarcation and i'm doing the same thing to the other side now if you're oily skin type like i said be sure to use some sort of mattifying primer set your primer with a powder set your foundation really well with a setting powder and go in with a setting spray this will last really well if you are someone of a dry skin type your skin is going to thank you for this foundation it's just that good and there we have it i am just going to add a little more to cover the, the hyperpigmentation mark on the side of my face but i don't mind it showing too much it just gives me a more you know natural looking finish for i'm just for the sake of the video and to show you um how buildable this foundation is by going in with the next layer and there we have it now what i've noticed with this foundation from the time i've been using it is normally when i use um, a matte foundation um after a couple of hours i would see some settling in some fine lines around my mouth area and my foundation tends to disappear on my chin area with this foundation believe it or not i do not see that i do not see anything settling in those fine lines it stays pretty well on my chin as well so i'm just surprised at 
how well this foundation lasts i don't know how it's gonna stand in the summer heat i will try then as well but as for now i am just loving this combo so now that i have that step done i'm just going to set my face a little bit with some setting spray and let that sink into my skin now I'm going to complete the rest of my makeup off camera and come back to the eyes. I just wanted to draw a little light on this foundation because it is amazing. The products over top, it does not, everything settles really well over top. My foundation, my concealer, my powders, whatever it is I use, just meshes really well with it. And that's a plus in any foundation routine. Because usually um, some foundations and concealers don't mesh well together, but this one is just perfect. So I'll be right back. So we're doing the rest of voice over style and I'm um, prepping my lids with my wet and wild cream shadow and buffing it off really well so that everything is even and distributed well. Then I'm using this color 518 from the James Charles and Morphe palette and I'm applying that in my crease and to the outer corners of my eyes and I'm buffing and blending and building until I get the pigment that I want. I'm using a very fluffy blending brush to do that as well. Then I'm going to deepen that color with the um, this red name You're Kidding and I'm applying it almost in the same um, areas that I applied the orange color but just a little bit lower than the orange color and here I'm just diffusing the edges even more. Using this MAC pigment in Melon, I'm applying that to the inner corners of my eyes and I'm going to feather it out into the red color. I don't want it too pigmented into the red color. I want most of the pigment to the front. And I'm also getting it sort of messy over my crease, if that makes sense. I don't want it to be too defined, but I want this sort of effortless looking um, thing. <laughs> my favorite word to use. Then I'm applying the color B, the C bright yellow on the inner corners of my eyes. And that's basically for the eyes, very simple. For my bottom lashes, I'm using Spooky on a flat definer brush first. I'm applying the color to get that punch, that pigment. And then I'm going to buff it off with a smaller um, blending brush, a more precise blending brush so that it's more diffused. Then I'm going in my waterline with my Morphe Jet um, Gel Liner and applying that underneath in my waterline, sorry. I'm just wrapping that yellow around the inner corner of my eyes and sort of blending it into the bottom um, lash with the black so that it meshes well together. I just applied some Flower Beauty Blush in Sweet Pea. Then I went in with some setting spray. And now I'm gonna use the color face from the same James Shaw's palette and use that as my highlight on my tops of my cheeks, my chin, my nose. And I did um, spritz my brush with some setting spray just to get that foil looking payoff. Applying some Maybelline Big Shot Mascara on my top and bottom lashes to prep my eyes for lashes. I like doing this before my lashes because it gets rid of any fallout that may have occurred while I was applying the shadows. It just makes the lashes look neater for me in the end. Here I'm setting my brow with my got to be <laughs> gel. Make sure your brows are set and in place. We don't want those things moving throughout the day. Yeah, I'm using my Kiss number no. 7 So Wispy Lashes and I'm looking down into my mirror. Um, the, the glue is already tacky and I'm going to attach the size. I stuck the, the lash to the center of my lids and I'm going to adjust it to the outer corner and the inner corner until I get, get it to look the way I want it to look. Here yeah, I'm just squeezing my real and the thick lashes together so that everything is well blended and seamless. Using my BFF3 lip liner from Colourpop, I'm going to line and fill in my entire lips with that color first. Mm -hmm. 
then I'm gonna go in with a darker brown. This one is from Jordana. And just line my lips. And now I'm using my um, Wet n Wild liquid lipstick. <laughs> These are so nice. And I'm gonna apply that over everything. Use a lip brush to blend the edges and the liner in with the lipstick so that it is more smooth and blended. And after that, I'm going to go over the edges of my lip again, the, just the outer lip line with that darker brown that I used first to create that sort of 90s look where it's darker on the outside and fades with a nice gradient to the lighter nude color. And that's the completed look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys. So there we have it guys, a completed look, my spring tutorial slash mini foundation review. I hope you guys tried the foundation, you will not regret it and it's a very um, affordable, it's drugstore, it's like 11 or 12 dollars or something like that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I'm just so ready for some 60 degree weather where I can just wear a jean jacket. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel, welcome to the family. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. Everything I use will always be in the description box so you can check that out, how to book me, all the links to my social media. I am a nail technician and a working makeup artist out here in Brooklyn. While you're here, before you leave, check out this other video that I'll link right here and there's also an eye that you can click to check out some more tutorials. Make sure you check out my um, 10 tips um, to make your foundation last longer and my top 5 favorite drugs of foundation. I will also link those on top. Like, comment and share. It really helps and I really appreciate it. Subscribe and hit the bell don't forget to hit the bell and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next tutorial on sunday <laughs>